And I am down here with two Notre Dame students who plan on saving lives by delivering defibrillators by drone during emergency situations. Zach Cousins, Nathaniel Hansen are here today to talk about this invention with us and their prospective startup company. Uh, thanks for joining us, fellas. And by the way, Jeff Bezos, don't you even think about stealing this idea because the entire Notre Dame Law School is ready and waiting. This is your idea, you're gonna run with it. So tell us about where this idea even began. So Nathaniel and I were in a class called Software Engineering for Unmanned Aerial Systems, and it came time to come up with a final project. Uh, so naturally in the news, a lot of times people are talking about delivering things with drones. Sure. Uh, with drones. But being at Notre Dame, we asked, uh, what could we do that would be a little bit more meaningful than delivering toothpaste? And so that's where we came to this idea. You're such idea. a typical Notre Dame student, <laughs> aren't you? That's <laughs> where we came to this well, idea of, you guys. of uh, emergency medicine. All right, now, uh, the drone has been uh, grounded by Notre Dame's version of the FAA. I don't know what they thought could possibly go wrong flying the drone here in the student center. So we're not going to fly it. But Nathaniel, ex explain what it does and how it would work. Sure thing. So the way that our system works is we integrate directly with 911 call center software. So when a call comes in and it's identified as a cardiac arrest, our system automatically kicks in. We identify a location where the drone could be sent to, where the drone then takes off and is airborne within 15 seconds and can fly directly to the scene of the incident at 60 miles per hour. Once it's there, we have a payload release mechanism which safely lowers the defibrillator to a waiting bystander to administer care. So our goal is to be able to cut the nationwide average response times in emergency response scenarios. So in terms of of reality, of this becoming a reality, and the technology. Where are you on the scale from uh, zero to 100? So right now we're in the process of raising a round uh, to fund this project. Uh, we've come to an agreement with the city of South Bend to enter a pilot program. Uh, so over the next year we'll continue to refine our technology uh, and prepare for that pilot program with the city of South Bend. So it was uh, the fire department, there's interest with the uh, local fire department. So there are, there are practical applications who are ready to go. Right, so even though we started off with defibrillators, um, we've also looked into delivering Narcan for opioid overdoses, rescue inhalers, EpiPens, a whole host of other really common forms of emergency medicine that put them in, put them in the hands of bystanders on the scene of a medical incident. They can make a huge, diff, a huge impact. Now, as you said, that you're, you're going for something more important than delivering toothpaste. I mean, this is life-saving technology here. But it also has to be a business. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to be able to sustain yourself. Talk about the business aspect, where you are in that yeah. right now. So we operate as a combination of hardware and software as a service. Uh, we provide both the physical drones and all the software that integrates with the 911 dispatch system to individual emergency response services, and we provide that as, as a leasing model. Yeah. I think that's one thing that's also really important to note is Zach and I are both engineers here, so we have zero business experience. All that wonderful advice and knowledge and insight has come from the Notre Dame Idea Center yeah. and all the guidance that they've been able to provide in helping us get this from a class project into a true company that's going to change and save lives. Well, it really is going to save lives. It's an amazing program. Nathaniel and Zach, thank you guys both very much. Two more Notre Dame students out there to change the world.